Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Pope. Disruption and uncertainty are challenging our businesses like never before because of this abnormal pandemic, its impact on hiring, supply chain, and now inflation. It's causing many businesses to change to adapt to these realities. This quote from one of the country's premier market research firms, Forrester Research, says it all. Uh, disruption has ensued since the dawn of the digital era, but it exploded in intensity and breadth starting into 2020. This book I'm holding in my hand is uh, titled Change the Management, and it goes to the heart of disruption and change in business and how any business must uh, change, must navigate change. And so uh, with me is the author of that book and the founder of Primed for Change, which is uh, prepares leaders for organizational change, Al Como. Welcome, Al. Hey, good morning, Fred, and thanks for having me, and thanks for your interest in the topic. Coming to us from his home in Fort Worth, Texas, no less. Yeah. And Al is a former executive at GE American Airlines in Travelocity, where he was a change agent. So what caused you to write the book, Al? Well, I was, uh, I was involved in a very big change that I helped to lead, and we failed. Our change failed, and so I set out to understand why. And what I came to learn pretty quickly is that, uh, according to McKinsey, uh, two-thirds of change efforts fail. We as managers are the worst in the world at this one thing, changing our organization so they can save with the times. So I set out to understand what, why some people want to change and most people lose a change. So from your experience at these three major uh, New uh, U.S. businesses, you write about change, the consequences of management ignoring it or fighting it or doing it the wrong way. So what's the wrong way and the right way? Yeah, so... Um, I looked at companies, lots of companies that had gone through change, as well as my own experiences and lots of literature. Those companies who, um, who lost at change, who failed at change, were much more likely to have a mindset, because it came down to mindset, much more likely to have a mindset of, um, we have to get our people to change. We're going to decide the change, and we have to get our people to change. Those who won, who were much more successful at change, they understood that they had to um, bring their people in to help create the change, to help to decide the change, yep. yeah. to help decide the change, right? So, um, so uh, they were much more likely to say, we have to get our people to want to change. And that's a very big difference between telling people that they must comply, which leads to compliance and then muscle memory that comes back to the old ways, versus people who are pumped up because it was their idea. They helped create it. They gave their ideas. They were asked for their help. So given what's happening with businesses today, uh, with the hiring and the supply chain and the inflation, you name it, uh, what uh, changes should any business consider making right now to just stay in the game? Well, I think it's how you go about the change. Every business is different. Uh, we've got inflation, we've got crypto, we've got uh, supply chain, we've got all kinds of problems, and they will go into perpetuity. We will always have different types of challenges, as, as the, the, um, the organization uh, Forrester said. But Forrester also said that, um, and I use this in my book, 80% of change efforts are top down. And that's the wrong way to do change. They, they will tell you, and I will tell you, that's the wrong way to do change. The change has to actually come from within. Um, it, we have to get our people to want to change by asking them how to meet the goal. The goal is not the change. The goal is the cost cut or the product line change that we need. How do we do that? When we ask them, not only do we get a better solution set because they know our business better than we do, but they also are primed for the change because, well, when you ask someone and they feel heard, they'll do remarkable things. Yeah. Well, this book, which you wrote, Change the Management, is available on Amazon, I assume? Yep. Anywhere that you can buy a book online, you can buy that book. My uh, thanks to Al Como, the author of the book and uh, founder of Primes for Change, who prepares leaders to uh, take organizations through change. And uh, the book, as I said, can be found on Amazon or any bookstore. So thank you, Al. Thank you, Fred. If you missed part of this talk with Al about change in the business, you can go to WMUR.com where it will be posted later today and all next week.